For first alert weather with meteorologist Tim Wright. Welcome back here on your Monday afternoon. Again, today was one of those days where we cover pretty much the entire state. As you went east, it was pretty chilly today. You headed west, it was around 60. Now this week, Mother Nature is a little unsure exactly what season we're supposed to be a part of. We officially get into spring tomorrow night, but by the time we head into what looks to be kind of a messy weekend, we could be talking the potential return of winter by the time we head into the upcoming weekend. Let's take a little bit of a look ahead to our next weather maker. We are tracking a low pressure system that is going to come out of the desert southwest, move across the central plains. The timing of it will start to feel the impacts of it already by Saturday, but it is really the Sunday into Monday time frame that we are going to be watching very closely. Now there are a lot of questions with it obviously being still seven days out. The path of the system, any deviation north or south, always makes a huge impact on how much precipitation you see and also how much cold air it's going to have to work with, which would impact what type of precipitation we would see. But right now, a little spoiler to your seven day forecast, there are some chances of wintry precip by the time we head into that Sunday, Monday time frame. Enjoy tomorrow. It looks fantastic. 37 tonight, same temp at breakfast because temps actually could come up a bit and then we're already up to 54 by the time we hit noon tomorrow. Looks fantastic. This morning, not so much. We had single digits up north. Ainsworth, Thetford at nine. Tri-Cities got down to 14 in Grand Island. 12 in Broken Bow, 19 down in Hebron. That considered, we've come a long ways. It's up to 42 in Lincoln, 54 in Lexington, 58 in McCook. Look at that difference between Kearney and Lexington. I mean, the warmth is coming. It just took a little bit longer than we were expecting. So for many of you in central and eastern areas, a little cooler today than what we were expecting. All right, quick look across the nation. We've got scattered snow showers working their way through the Ohio River Valley less than a week after they had significant severe weather roll through the region. But for much of us here in central and western parts of the country, very quiet out there right now. And we look at your future cast. We've got a couple of boundaries that come through. Now, the first one comes in tomorrow really just kind of a wind shift line that will turn the winds out of the north. Not a big deal. But then a little front kind of backs its way into the area Tuesday night into Wednesday. And that is going to kind of open the doors a little bit for some cooler air to move in already on Wednesday. 33 for the low tonight. Just a little bit of an improvement over what we had this morning. Tomorrow, 66. Make the most of it. It is going to be a beautiful day to be out and about. 34 tomorrow night is that Cooler air will start to kind of filter its way into the region. We're looking at low 30s for most areas tonight, which once again will be a dramatic improvement over this morning. Highs tomorrow, mid to upper 60s, won't be out of the question for some locations to get close to 70. But then things change. We get back to 56 Thursday, 49 Friday, and then all of a sudden we've got some 30s mixed in for highs. Uh, Saturday, again, Monday. Sunday is going to be a very interesting day with how the temps play out there, but really kind of watching that weekend into Monday time frame for this next storm system, which could be impactful. We'll be keeping an eye on it. When things change and get dramatically worse, like I feel like Friday has, I don't think it was looking that bad last week. Can yeah. it switch again? Can it, can. it switch again? It can. We always hope it does, but uh, this one's going to be another tricky one like the last two have been. Uh, anytime this time of year, you've got that transition cold yes, and warm. So right. trying to track those differences is always uh, a challenge. This is what you say is turning your hair gray. Although Absolutely. I don't see a single gray. Mm. Pretty good. There we go. We're good. <laughs> we'll be right back with more news.